drivers behind the line in three, two, one, go! And it's the beginning of the autonomous period in this match. We've got three blue robots working. We've got three red robots working. The bees are up, docked on the station. Also, 3668, where they always end up in autonomous, engaged as we go into the teleoperated period with blue up by 1.30 to 29. Railroader Robotics scores up on the upper shelf as 84894. Playing some tough defense out in the middle of this field. Slowing the bees down from their normal routine of grabbing game pieces, using that extraordinary swerve drive that they have, and up in the upper shelf again for the bees. The red robots are good. The blue robots are good as well. And blue continues to maintain that lead of a little less than 10 points. We've got about 70 seconds left in this one as Symmetrical Chaos grabs another game piece into the red community to do some scoring. Bees also scoring on the bottom shelf as they go back to get some more. The Martians moving back, to correction, more Martians, Team 70, moving back into the blue loading area to grab some more game pieces as 5660, that's Chaos, also grab some game pieces for red. The Power Chargers playing some good defense out in the middle of the field. As we have 20 seconds left in this one and we're down to the end game period. We've got two robots up on the blue side and engaged. Red's gonna try for three. Let's see if they can get three up and up and connected. Oh, and we have two robots up. Two robots on the blue side up. Pretty darn close score. We'll see those official scores. With a score of 113 to 105. The Blue Alliance, that is Alliance number two, moving on to the finals here at Kettering on Ford Field. Ladies and gentlemen,